This is image 10 from the secret puzzles. It is assumed to go with Milwaukee since the girl has a millstone, a walking stick, and a key over her head. She is also juggling a couple of balls, a flower, and a jewel. There's also a castle in the background that appears to be a match for several of the buildings downtown. She has a blue hue around her and a large cape with what appears to be the base of a birch tree in it. This is verse 8. We'll be using it to solve the puzzle. View the three stories of Mitchell as you walk the beating of the world. At a distance in time from three who live there. At a distance in space from woman with harpsichord. Playing silently. Step on nature. Cast in copper. Ascend the 92 steps. After climbing the Grand 200, past the compass, the foot of a culvert, below the bridge, walk a hundred paces, southeast over rock and soil, to the first young birch, past three, staying west, you will see the letter from the country of Wonderstone's hearth, on a proud tall fifth, at its southern foot, the treasure waits. First we have the three stories of Mitchell. They're the dome houses in Mitchell Park. They're agricultural buildings named Show, Tropical, and Desert. You will view the three stories of Mitchell as you leave the Miller Stadium where the Brewers, Pabst, Miller, and Schlitz once lived. They were almost the world beaters in 1981 and 1982. The journey from the beating of the world past the three stories of Mitchell will lead you to the 92 steps. Ascending the 92 steps will take you up to 27th Avenue. From there you can climb the Grand. Wisconsin Avenue being the Grand 200. Originally developed in the early 1800s as Spring Street. By the late 1800s there were so many large estates on it it was renamed to Grand Avenue. At the top of Grand Avenue we find the Pabst Mansion. It's a perfect match for the mansion in the painting. Captain Pabst was a German immigrant who commanded a vessel on Lake Michigan for many years before buying into his father-in-law's best brewery. Just down the street from the Pabst Brewery, we find McCormick Hall, which is about to be torn down. It houses the Compass Peer Mentoring Program, as well as looks like a compass. Just next door, we find the uh, Marquette University Alumni Center, once the Elizabeth Plankington Building the last of the grand mansions to be torn down in 1980. Across the street we have the Raymond Memorial Libraries. These guys represent a woman with harpsichord playing silently. Just south we find the Joan of Arc Chapel and her flower gardens. Staying west we'll find the letter from the country of Wonderstone's hearth. This being the letter from Pope Pius XI from France that granted permission for this chapel to be referred to as the Joan of Arc Chapel. Returning outside, we find the four cauldrons located in each corner of the park. These represent the balls that the girl in the picture is juggling. The intention here being that from the key, the doorway, the walking stick represents walking between the two balls, past the flowers, to the millstone in the center of the park. The center garden contains this large chalice, the proud tall fifth. I believe this is where the treasure waits, at the southern foot. The multiple patterns in and around this pool are close to the patterns on the dress the girl is wearing around her neck as well. Also, we find the birch trees referenced in the poem throughout this park. 